I'm on my way to a scrapyard in Minden, Louisiana, Troy's Auto Salvage. And uh, this, <clears throat> what I'm carrying over there is just a trailer load and a truck load of scrap that I've gathered around my place in uh, Wasco, Texas. My refrigerator, the uh, tongues that I cut up from the mobile home, the uh, metal roofing that I cut off of Bev's shed that was rotted, and just uh, scraps and odds and ends laying around there, uh, fence posts that I pulled up out of the ground. Uh, I'm just, uh, and I'm actually, I'm not even going to a place that pays very well for scrap. I'm not so much concerned about money. I just need a place to get rid of all this metal. And uh, the dump there in Wascombe will take it. They won't give you nothing for it, but they won't let you throw it in their dumpster. They want you to pick it up and carry it way off to the edge of their property where once a month they let this guy come and pick up all their scrap. And uh, so I didn't feel like doing that. At a scrapyard, you just pitch it off your trailer and your truck, and you're done. So uh, let me, uh, I'll see if I can get a, a real quick picture of what I got on there, and then I'll show you what I, I made and how much weight I have. Must be nice. They're uh, 15 minutes late. That's the uh, tongue. And look, <laughs> I'm not the only one that can't figure out what the hell to do with these damn things. There's three tongues right there. So uh, I'm glad I, glad I brought them over. All right, let me get to work unloading this. All right. That's what I made. Like I said, I'm not overly concerned with price. Uh, I probably could have brought this to another scrap dealer and got another 10 or 12 bucks. Uh, uh, and I only come here because uh, I've done a lot of business with this guy over the years. I've bought, I have actually probably bought more metal from him than uh, I have bring metal in you know, for projects. And last, the last thing I bought from him was a four by eight sheet of expanded metal that I used to uh, rebuild a couple of uh, utility carts. And uh, anyway, you know, familiarity. I know where the scale is. I know how it operates in there. Uh, I know what to avoid to get <laughs> a run over crap, ruin your new tires. <laughs> so that's why I go there. And uh, it's close to my house, you know, it's seven or eight miles from my house versus going all the way to Bossier City and then back to my house. And well, a few dollars more I might make on scrap there, I would probably spend on gas and aggravation, you know, stoplights. And <clears throat> so there's that, $43 uh, for just some stuff that I gathered up, those two tongues and uh, refrigerator that had been sitting around for years. I I know I, my arm's probably been bouncing, but on to the next one. I'm not changing. No, I'm not changing the channel. I'm not. You're gonna have to watch this program with me. No. I'm not changing the channel. I'm not. <laughs> well, spoiled dog. We're not watching the show she wants to watch. So, this is what she does. I'm, I'm not changing the channel. Yes, sir. Are you okay? Sir. Are you pouting now? Yep, that's a pout. My She's sneaky, pouting. My sneaky schnauzer, are you pouting? 11 years old and still hasn't grown out of the pout. Are you mad? Yeah, you're mad. What show is it do you want, uh, what do you want to watch? 
What show do you want to watch? Anything but this. Cartoons? She would prefer that we watch the animal. The animal show? The animal planet? Yeah. Oh, okay, she's giving it up. Yeah, she's going to pout now. This is why we can't have nice things. My wife laid that there. Right in the middle of the road. Right in the middle of the highway. 